what's happening people i'm here at old trafford as you can see i am my own camera woman today i'm not going to tell you guys why but just know that Monso is a disgrace and he's a cheat you are an absolute disgrace you're a cheat he's a disgrace and he's a cheat so many technical difficulties happen josh i don't know how you can bro but I, I, I met some fans outside of the stadium had a chat with them and way after did i realize my mic wasn't even on and now we are here at Old Trafford. There's about five minutes to go until the teams come out of the tunnel. Manchester United, of course, got their stacked lineup. As usual, Mary Earps, the best goalkeeper in the world, is in goal. It's Ona Batier, Hannah Blundell, and then Ella Toon on the pitch, Salem, Galton, Lard, Letizia, Turner, Nikita Paris. Obviously, I spoke to her after that Chelsea game, and she was disappointed with that game. So hopefully today, next WSL game, she's going to come out and smash it, and Alicia Russo. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I totally think that Manchester United should cruise through this game. Manchester United have some of the best assisters in the league right now. They've got some of the best goal scorers in the league and they've got some of the best partnerships in the league. Specifically in that fullback position, I think Hannah Blundell and Ona Batier are the best fullback pairing in the league. I'm not being biased, guys. I'm just saying it how it is. And as you can see, as you can hear, sorry, the fans are starting to cheer but the players are on their way out so make sure you guys tune in it's going to be a good one guys i'm feeling optimistic i'm feeling optimistic it's a bit it's a bit chilly here it's about 5 22 kickoff is at 5 30. Once again, Guys, the teams are out, ready to get started, really. Leah Galton was presented with a special shirt for 100 fixtures in a Manchester United shirt. That's honestly such a great, a great achievement, given the fact that Manchester United women was dismantled when the owners came in and then actually recreated of recent. Um, so congratulations to Leah Galton on that 100 appearances. Hopefully 100, 200, 300 more in a Manchester United shirt. Kickoff is getting ready. West Ham United are just doing their huddle right now. And, and, the, and the Manchester United women's team are just doing some little sprints. I'm really excited for this fixture. Old Trafford is actually kind of booming. Pretty much majority of the stands are filled. Stretford End is pretty much filled. Sir Alex Ferguson stand is pretty much filled. I'm really excited to see this fixture go. You can hear them, literally. You can hear the fans chanting in the background. It's, it's actually quite crazy. It's a different fixture in comparison to the smaller stadiums like the Lay Sports Village that Manchester United normally play at. And you know, the smaller places when they play away, um, the, the, the crowd is way better, obviously, than the Spurs game, but that's because we're playing at home. But there's not really much to say, man. Come on, Manchester United, man. come on. It's 10 minutes into the first half and honestly not many tr chances really created now um how is Sissoko with, with a great clearance header again to force a corner is that a corner no it's not a corner. yes it is no it's a foul okay but it's the first 10 minutes into the game and for me the standout part has been Ona Batier best fullback in the league but she's also the best fullback in the in the world, in my opinion. Manchester United cannot afford to lose her on a free this season. Her contract's finishing. No renewal yet agreed. Hopefully, it, it can be agreed um, pretty soon. For me, the biggest problem with that is obviously the ownership. Um, with the change in ownership probably happening, we've got to be patient and, and wait for that to happen before Manchester United women are probably a priority. Um, Ten minutes into it, Manchester United had a chance just scuffed it but it was an absolutely amazing run from Ona Batier on, on the touchline left her, her player um, and she was, she was gone and put a great ball into the box her and Hannah Blundell helped form the best partnership fullback pairing in the league in my opinion obviously in my opinion but for me they are a big part of Manchester United's attacking threat and they are also a big part of Manchester, United de Manchester United's defensive threat and I really think they're both going to probably get an assist or a goal in this game. Ten minutes into the game, not really much happening, but keep watching here. It's a little little water break because Mary Earps has gone down holding her ankle. I'm really hurt. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping that it's not a difficult injury, but she's taken off her boot right now. She's got some of the Man United medics with her. 
and 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 they look like they're trying to trying to see what the ankle injury is. She just recently won the FIFA Best Goalkeeper Award. Obviously, if she does go off, it's a big loss for Manchester United. But it's still nil nil at this time. 17 minutes into the first half, and it was from an opportunity created from West Ham coming from our left hand side. You can hear you can hear the crowd starting to chant Mary Earp's song that they have for her. The fans are getting behind her. And, and hopefully she'll be all right, but it's still nil-nil at this current time. Make sure you guys keep watching the rest of the vlog to see how, how the outcome is. But I hope Mary Earps is OK, man. Really hope she's all right. Guys, the stadium just erupted. Like honestly, it honestly just erupted. There's, there's at least 20,000 fans. I would say at least 20,000 fans here. And Manchester United are now up 1-0 thanks to a Katie Zellum penalty. Slotted that into the top corner after Alessio Russo was brought down by Howard Sissoko in the box. Literally just dropped the shoulder, cut in, and Howard Sissoko took her out. It was a clear-cut penalty, and Mark Skinner is definitely happy about that because he was really mad in the first half about Manchester United not getting a penalty shout. Um, for a similar tackle on Alicia Russo. So it's Manchester United 1-0 up. It's the, it's the 52nd minute in the second half. Come on, United. There's there's light at the end of the tunnel of this game. I, I predicted 3-0 earlier, and I really think we could get two more goals. It's Manchester United 2, West Ham 0, as Garcia scored a great goal. Great smooth transition from Manchester United, where Leo Galton got the tackle in, Ella Toon got the assist, and a cool, calm, composed finish from Garcia. You guys are probably wondering now, I'm feeling a lot more energised. I was fasting and it was time to break our fast just as halftime commenced. Um, and I just want to give a special thank you to one of the stewards at Manchester United Women um, here at Old Trafford who helped me find a prayer space to pray. Obviously, a lot of football stadiums do not have multi-faith prayer rooms, but she allowed me to observe my prayers uh, in the Manchester United press conference room while she stood at the door and made sure I was all right. So a special thank you to her. That's just, that's just an appreciation thing, really. I'm really chuffed to see Manchester United are 2-0 up right now. It's about 15 minutes to go. And I, and I, and I, think, I think some of the top dogs are going to probably come off. Um, Mark Skinner is probably happy with this result. For me, Alicia Russo has been absolutely phenomenal today. We have to keep her. She has to stay at Manchester United. And I'm really interested to see what she does for the last 15 minutes. She's really been everywhere. She's been dropping deep back to goal, switching play on the wing, putting crosses in, got the penalty. All that's really left is for her to get a goal. And I think she can. I think she could get one. How Sissoko was at fault again for that second goal is just unlucky. They tried to play an offside trap and the centre-backs were just too slow to step up. And now Manchester United are up 2-0. Still a lot to play. Well, no, no, there's not a lot to play for here at Old Trafford, to be honest. But I'm hoping that Manchester United could get maybe one or two more goals. So make sure you lot keep watching. Manchester United 4, West Ham United 0. Listen. Second half FC, second half FC has started to trickle down into the women's team as well. Lucia Garcia with a brace, two goals. The second, the first goal was a great goal. The second one, goal poacher, absolute goal poacher. Alicia Russo was unlucky not to get a goal and she ended up coming off about 10 minutes left of the second half. Ella Toon, unlucky to not get a goal, but she got an assist. And overall, the second half was just a, a better performance than what was happening in the first half. There's so much to talk about, so keep rocking with the vlog, guys. You guys are hopefully going to hear some stuff from the press conference to hear what Mark Skinner has to say. i got some questions for him. i got some questions for him. Ona Battier and Alicia Russo, two players who are out of contract this year at Manchester United and two players that made a big impact in today's fixture. Every game we see how important they are for Manchester United women and it's so important for, for the club to just throw whatever they want at them. Wherever, how much they're asking for, is it 500k for the year, is it 600k for the year, whatever it is, just give it to them because they are worth that. Ona Batia is easily the best right back in the world. She, I was going to say the best in the WSL but she's actually the best in the world in my opinion. She could have actually had an assist in the first half if Alicia Russo finished her chances. But she didn't and it was just unlucky but Alicia Russo was absolutely everywhere today she was dropping deep back to goal going wide one two link up play 
got the penalty, didn't get a goal, but came off to a big, big applause in the stadium. And it just shows how important she is, not just to the fans, but also to Mark Skinner. Mark Skinner was thumbs up to, towards her, high-fived her when she came off. And she's just so important and it's really... It's, it, guys, it's a big part. It's a big part of Manchester United. If we're going to compete in the Champions League, we need Alicia Russo. We need the best of the best. Hopefully she stays. Hopefully she gets a contract extension. Let's see. I'm here with Moyo, who I want to hear what she has to say about the game because we were talking about it off camera. But I want to hear, what was your thoughts on that first half, firstly? First half was dry, really dry. Um, I feel like we just didn't adapt well to what we knew West Ham strengths were going to be. Like We know Sissoko is someone that can cut off the space if your winger isn't quick. And we went with a winger that's not super direct, that wants to come inside. And I feel like the, the game changed completely when Lucia Garcia came on. Because not only she directs, she runs in behind, but she also keeps her width. And that was the thing that we're struggling with in the first half. How important did you think Alicia Russo's performance was today? Because she Listen. didn't get a goal, but she got the assist because she got the penalty in it. Listen, she is, like, as a striker, is so ridiculous. Number one, hold up play. Her ability to bring others into play. Her ability to run in behind. Her ability to pass. Her ability to switch play. Listen, the list is endless. The list is endless. She is such a good player. And that's why I think we were doing a disservice to her in the first half. Because there were so many times that she held the ball up, brought the wingers into play. And then the wingers are coming inside. Now the space is congested. I feel like that changed a lot in the second half. I wish she would have gotten a goal to cap it off, but can't complain. I'm going to talk about uh, Lucia Garcia's first goal because I think it was mm. a Galton tackle, Ella Toon assist, Boy. and just such a composed finish from Garcia. How important is Ella Toon to this Manchester United team? Ella Toon is integral to everything we do at this club. Everything, every single move, even if she doesn't get the assist or the goal, it's, she's involved. Whether that's pressing, whether that's winning the ball back, whether that's making a run. She makes so many third man runs that we don't, she's not going to get credit for them unless she gets the assist. But it was so important today, especially in a game like this where the pitch is so big. And last question, Ona. She's one of my favourites, isn't it? People always if hear I me see, raving about her. Way. Listen, <laughs> how I'm important? This and I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing an Ona back here top. <laughs> how important is she, not just for Manchester United this season, mm -hmm. but for going forward if, if Champions League is, is our goal? She is... I'm not even joking, I stand by this, she will be the hardest person to replace. If, we were, if we're going to lose anyone, she will be the hardest person to replace at this club. When she was out of a concussion protocol, we struggled to create attacks. People think it's just defensively. She's at the heart of our attacks. Her and Ella Toon are at the heart of our attacks, creating chances, coming inside. She knows when to go on the outside. She can cross, she can do everything. And if we want to actually progress and not do one step forward, three steps back, we have to make sure she signs a new contract. Pay her her money. Please, please. Pay blank her. check, blank check. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Congratulations on the, on, the, on the great win, great second half. I want to talk about Ona for, for a moment. I think she was phenomenal. Now she's second in the WSL for first season. She's got eight assists now. How important is she, not just this season, but to keep her as well in the summer? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, and we're working hard to try and do that. Um, she's a magnificent fullback. I have a, there's a lot of love for Ona um, at the team. She knows that. Um, and, and we, you know, we'd love her to stay at Manchester United for a long time to come. You know, she's the type of player that will help us reach our potential um and but but first half we need to expect more from her and that's that's the beauty of her right she comes on second half and does that and yet you just have to remind her of of what she needs to do but she has that ability and that quality so yes we want to we're working hard behind the scenes to try and keep her um but you know because she performs like that and just one more question on Alicia Russo. She came off to a, a great applause from, from the crowd today. I was not get a goal, but I guess she got the assist of getting the penalty. How important is it to keep her as well in, in the pursuit for Champions League football? Yeah, it is. I mean, look, Alessi is a, a Manchester United player to the minimum the end of the season, right? And we're working hard behind the scenes to do that as well. But again, Alessia, we, we, I spoke to her half time. She didn't get up to her speed. She was a little bit subdued first half, as, as a lot of players were. But then second half, we saw Alessi get up to her speed. And then she has the, this unique ability to pivot on literally a penny. Um, the way that she can turn somebody, hold off, off pressure and then cut quickly. Yeah, she, she's great. And, and But I need to see that more from her. So, you know, we're, we're trying to work, as I say, we're working hard to try and keep her here. But um, I, while, I, while I have and while she is my player, and we're making sure she's at right on the top of her game and second half she was and that's exactly what I expect from her going forwards. Thank you. Thank you. 
as you can see, the dust has settled, the crowds have gone. Manchester United beat West Ham 4 0 here at Old Trafford. Mark Skinner was really impressed with the crowd in the press conference. He said he was really excited with the electric crowd that came behind the team. Somebody asked him if he would want to play the FA Cup semi final here at Old Trafford, and he said, Really, is down to the fans. It's really whatever they want. But honestly, as you can see, some people still behind me just getting pictures of the stadium. The lights are on as you can see and it's nearly night time here at Manchester but really overall a good performance obviously the first half was a bit flat kind of like what we saw against Chelsea but the second half Manchester United really picked it up Garcia with a brace most important player in the second half in my honest opinion she came on and completely changed the game when Alicia Russo was dropping deep pinging balls across the pitch there was no one to run in behind and she came on and did exactly that and Mark Skinner was full of praise for her in the press conference. He was also really confident for o Honor and Alicia Russo to extend their contracts here in the summer. Obviously their contracts are expiring this summer. He said that they were working really hard behind the scenes but for now they are Manchester United players and they're going to give it their all. He, he thinks that you know Katie Zellum, important part of Manchester United's team. Lad, important member of Manchester United team. So many important players that he had praise for in the press conference. But until next time, guys, keep rocking with the channel. WSL is starting to heat up. It's starting to heat up. Manchester United back top of the table. Manchester City versus Chelsea is happening probably uh, not even probably tomorrow. Sorry, guys, I'm just a bit tired. You know, as you can see, it's me with my own camera because Marcel is a disgrace. He's a cheat. Make sure you guys write that in the comments. Marcel is a disgrace. He's a cheat. You are an absolute disgrace. You are a cheat. I'm not going to tell you guys why, but he's a disgrace. But shout out to the channel. Make sure you lot like, subscribe, keep rocking with the channel. If you are enjoying this WSL content and Manchester United women's content, please make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe so we can bring you guys more coverage of the Man United women's team. Come on, United. Let's go.